Welcome, welcome, welcome to another Pokemon TCG Death Belt. Today we're looking at Rapus V Max from Sword and Shield. Yes, Rapus V Max is, you know, one of the best V Max cards we've got so far, in my opinion. Anyway, um, before we start off, again, shout out to Savvy Burke for giving me the idea for this deck. Um, did do a few little tweaks, uh, so hopefully this goes a tiny bit better. But the foundation of it was based on Savvy Burke, guys. He's a machine. Um, honestly, dude is a monster. Love this dude. Um, so Lapras V Max, 320 HP is fairly high. Um, I think that's kind of the mid ground now for V Maxes. Um, you've had higher, like say Snorlax V Max with 340, I believe. But then you've had lower, like things like Morpico V Max, which is 300. So I think this is kind of the middle ground. Nice even ground. Water type is great because things like Welder will be shaking. Um, Charizard and Restaurant will go down. The Cephalon will go down. Charizard and Breaksin will go down. Um, things like Cinderace will go down. It's it's good. We like this. It's fantastic. Nice. Um, but being in mind, it is water type, so we also get things like Frostmoth to accelerate energy. Get things like Quagsire to slap onto the front. Um, we get a few. We get a few little nice little tricks with water types. You get things like um, Lana to heal if you guys want to. Misty and Lorelei to hunt down energy, and uh, it's all right. Water types all right. Uh, we uh, tree cost of three is that awkward soft spot where it's too low for buff padding, so it can't do extra HP, and too high for things like air balloon or skateboard or U-turn board because it will just give us one or two retreat costs, which is not ideal. Weakness to lightning is uh, no, nah, it's not great. Uh, Picarom, Choo Choo, more Pico, that's just three off the top of my head that could get practically a one shot if it really wanted to. So uh, be careful of electric types because, yeah, yeah, you're going to see a few. Um, only has one attack, G Max Pump for triple colorless energy, 90 damage, but does 30 extra for each water energy attached to it. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. So if it's through water energy, that's already another 90 damage, that's 180. And then you could just go as much, as much, much as you want to. So. It's great. Um, also, little shout out to Lapras V. Um, does it can attach the energy and swap it to the bench? And for four energy, three water, one colorless. Does two ten and puts two back, two water energy back. It's all right, but we prefer V Max. We prefer Lapras V Max. But of course, they are not alone. Let's see who he's with today. So first off, we have Ditto Prism Star. Good for any decks that have Evolution Pokemon in it. Uh, turns to any stage one that you want to. Ditto Prism Star, great card. We have two copies of Sil Valley GX, uh, just for extra draw mechanic. Draw until you have five cards in your hand. If you really want to, you can do um, Brave Buddies for 50. If you play a support card from your uh, in this turn, you can do 120, which is all right. Uh, we also have Palkia GX. Um, we I was talking to Savvy and we was, talk, we was thinking about it. And it was kind of awkward because we didn't know whether to do Palkia for extra damage or Keldeo. So you can do one of the other. You can, but we do, uh, decided to try and do Palkia because Palkia hasn't seen that much love. We, we can try and we can try and go around with it. it does the, Basically, the main attack that it does is the same as Lapras V Max's. Three colorless energy, less base, 60 damage, and does less for each water energy. But it's less prizes that your opponent takes, so it's alright. And different weakness, weakness to grass, which means that... Things like Rillaboom decks would also come out, but then again, they're semi scared of, of Welder, so you got a bit more space with Palkia. And if you really want to, 5 energy, 3 water, 2 colorless, 150, and shuffles all energy from all of your Pokemon back into the from all of your opponent's Pokemon, should I say, back into their deck. So it's a nice little re like recycle kind of reset. It's nice, it's alright. Uh, but on the other hand, you can do Keldeo, you, you can if you really want to. We also have three copies of Frostmoth, um, as often as you like. Attach water energy from your hand to one of your bench water Pokemon. Cannot be colorless, like Silvalli or Ditto. Has to be water, so be careful. Um, and we also have Quagsire to move energy onto the active. So move water energy from the bench up to the active. So we can move as much as we want onto Lapras VMAX and then all Palkia if you decide. And just go crazy with that. And you can also go to Silvalli if you really want to, because it's any. you can move water energy to any Pokemon as long as it's your active. Um, and same thing, 60 damage does 20 more for every energy attached to it. So again, it works the same as Palkia, just even less prizes, which is great. Can't complain. We also have two copies of Energy Retrieval, one copy of Great Catcher, three co Pokemon Catchers, two Pokemon Communications, three Quick Balls, three Switches, two Viridian Forest, three Cynthia, one Lady, three Professor's Research, three Air Balloons, one Fire Memory, specifically for Silvalli GX, just to get that little cheeky one-hit KO on things like Zacian, So, because you never know, you might see him running around. Three Weakness Guard Energy to lock off any cards that, any decks that we might come to that might have the type advantage. 
and 11 water energy. So with that being said, let's get into it. I'm pretty excited for this. Okay, so water, colorless, and steel. It's all right. Can't complain. I have a feeling it's Rillaboom. I have a strong feeling. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Just having my water. Yeah, how are you guys doing today? I'm doing not too bad, to be honest. Can't complain. Right, George Draw, that's good. Got a nice little mulligan for us. Wow, that, yeah, it's Rillaboom. Has to be. No deck has that much grass energy unless it's Rillaboom. Right, yes. Great catcher. Okay. Oh, uh, Shackle. Ah! Um, right, I'm going to save Radiant Forest up first. Get rid of that water energy. Bring out another water energy, because that way we can do uh, energy retrieval. Can make the most of it. Right, just slap it on there. Because as long as we get Quagsire, it doesn't matter where the energy is on the bench so that's a good thing for us so it's all right actually no i've just realized i should have done weakness i should have done weakness oh i'm so stupid i should have done weakness energy never mind we got saved oh my gosh i just realized we got saved okay that's great oh my gosh i can't believe i can't believe it we could have lost there and then that would have been a straight up loss there and then right um oh gosh i'm gonna say I'm gonna say great catcher. Get rid of I wanna do Professor's research. Well it doesn't matter if that's the case. Just do Professor Yeah, because we've got free retreat anyway. Then Professor's research. Yeah. Just yeah. We'll just do it that way. Right, brilliant. There we go. Quick ball. Get rid of a Pokemon catcher, because we don't want that shock will coming back. Lapras V, fantastic, I will take you, definitely. Um, could have got Snom, but it's alright. Um, then retreat onto Lapras. Yep, so I got rid of a Frostmoth, didn't I? Yes, I did. So I don't really want to use Professor's Research again. And then Type Null goes back. Alright, fantastic. I don't really want to use a Frostmoth, but I might have to. Oh, I don't really oh, I don't really want to get rid of this frost mod. If we have if we get communications, that's gonna be amazing. That's gonna be so good if we get communications. But I really doubt it. I doubt we're gonna get Cynthia either. Um oh, what would be useful? What would be useful to get right now? Quagsire, if anything. Oh. Asking you shall receive. Alright, I don't really wanna use Professor's research. Uh, do I though? <laughs> no, I don't really. As long as I get one Snom or Ditto, I should be okay. Well, there's the last Frost Moth. There's Lapras V, Matt. There's Lapras V. Um, quick Ball, get rid of a... I want to say Switch. And then bring out Snom. Because then that way, we at least have Frost Moth. We've got one Frost Moth, that's fine. I don't think he's got any cards that can chip at the bench. So that's good. Um, do Wash Out. Let's put... Let's, let's do... Merciless strike for now. Right. Yeah, let's let's just do this for now. Then evolve to Frostmoth, attach the air balloon, do Cynthia, flip it around. Because next turn he's definitely gonna get something. He's gonna do confuse burn and poison, which means I need to get out of there really quick. He's got 240. Could I hit him? I don't think I could. Energy retrieval works great, but that's only one. Uh, right, so Frost Moth first. Air Balloon. I'm going to say another Air Balloon. There's no point doing energy retrieval just yet. Because I've only got one. Uh, okay. Um, right. Breeding Forest. Bring that out. I mean, I, in a way, I could technically hit him now. Right, so yeah. I could do it. I, we could do this. Right, energy retrieval. Draw it back. Right, if I do Quagsire though, how much would I hit? Be 60, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's already 100. So 160, 180, 200. And now I'll be just short off. And that would just annoy me more, to be honest. Right, and then slap on another one. Then type null, retreats, put on that press V. Uh, get the energy from type no right done and then ocean loop right great brings the two energy back does frost can do frost moth slap it over to the other lapras 
And then quite excited to flip it up back. I'm hoping that we s manage to get, um, I'm hoping that we manage to get some valley or a Pokemon that we can use for communications. That would be very useful. That's 80 damage. Yeah, that's fine. We got the free retreat anyway. Right, there's weakness guard. Um, might you know what? Might as well. Right, frost moth. Attach that to Lapras. Then attach that to um, Quagsire for the sake of it. Um, Quagsire slaps this one onto the other Lapras. Done. And then retreat. Great. And then ocean loop. I like this. I really like this. This is pretty cool. Only problem is now we don't have another air balloon for this Lapras, which means we need to get... Um, well, I mean, we've got a quick ball, so we can get anyone we want. A lady, which is fine. That's so much energy to work with. And that means we get past Shockle's ability as well, so that's great. Um, quick ball for Viridian Forest. Um, oh, reset stamp. Ah, that's going to be a problem. Catcher and two energy. If we get Silver Valley, that would be so useful. Let's see, Cremorant. It's all right. I mean, we can one shot this Cremorant now. Right, beat catch. I'm assuming for redraw. Ah, triple Excel. Triple Excel for who? Rillaboom. Really? Triple Excel. What grass stick do you need Triple Excel for? The only one I'm thinking of is Rillaboom, but Rillaboom takes like three grass energy. Who needs, tri who needs triple acceleration in a in a deck like this? Right, so wait, who can we get again? We can get we can get Ditto. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Um, can get Parker. Oh, never mind. That's it. That's game. Right, next game. Let's go. Right, grass deck again. Okay. It's getting very interesting now. Double gra grass deck back to back. It's very interesting. Right, one the flip. Definitely go first because we need that energy and the evolution lines. And we start off with Mulligan, but so does he. Don't do that. And I hope don't do that thing where you have to, where you mulligan us just to mulligan us again. Right, great, fantastic. Right, type no can go up front. I'm gonna keep Wupo. I'm gonna keep Wupo. Yeah, I'm gonna keep Wupo. Because I could do communications and then swap over to Sil Valley. And this is a Vileplume deck. Which means that if I get if I go first, he goes again. No, I can I can get it. I can get so I can get Sil Valley before he gets Vileplume. That's good. That's all I'm thinking about. As long as I get Sil Valley before he gets Vileplume, it's fine. And again, again. Right, no, keep that. Snob. Nice. Uh, cool. Yeah, that's the only thing I can think about. As long as I get Sil Valley before he gets Vile Plume, which in this case is looking very likely. Yeah, well, well, there's your Oddish. And Grookey. Ah, Grookey Vile Plume? Okay. Either that or it's Tropic Tantrum. Where they have um, a London Executor as well. Yeah, Tropic Tantrum. Right, we need to be very quick now. Right, there's Weakness Guard, which sucks because we had. Ah, oh, that sucks as well because we had that nice little fire memory. Okay, we need to be quick. We need to be very quick. Right, oh, okay, brilliant. That works even better. Type no can go. Um, so Valley, yes please. Right, and that gives me four cards? No, three. If I put Wooper down and that one, it gives me three cards. Brilliant. Right, there's Frostmoth. 
I don't like that I have to waste both of my switches. You know what, Frostmoth can save the energy anyway. Just save it. Save the energy. Right, and then Professor Reese. I don't like that I have to waste both of my switches. Right, there's Lapras, there's Lapras V Max. Ditto, yes, we've got all the cards that we need. Fantastic. Brilliant. Um, then put that down. Brave Buddies, 120. Now we're going. Evolve to, Quag evolve to Quagsire, Evolve to Lapras V Max. You Cynthia, swap it all out. We'll go from there. That's yes, right, brilliant. And because it's lightning type weakness, we don't have to worry. The only thing that we have to worry about is Quagsire. Yes, that is amazing. So he heals up 30, which gives him 90, which means we need to hit him for 180. Which means we need, oh, just three extra energy. Okay. That's, that's fine. All we've got to do is hit him one time. Right, and then there was energy to spare. Right, and then Lapras V Max. And attach an energy. Use Cynthia, shuffle it all over. We've got Palkia, we've got another Frostmoth. Um, should we add in Frostmoth? No. Mm. Keep the. Uh, should we? What evolutions do we have? Another Sil Valley. That's what I was trying to think. Like, who do we have? We've got another Sil Valley. That's what we have. Brilliant. And then um, so we'll move on to Lapis V Max. He's Quagsire, bring that up front. He can't hit me, he can't one shot me with anyone right now, which is fine. So I might as well just go all out. And yeah, now he can't one hit me with anyone, that's fine. Um, then there's no point. This reload. Right, there's also some nice cards. Quick ball, that's yeah, fine, just leave it. That's the hit, 240. Nice, that's Radiant Forest. There's Water Energy, and there is another Water Energy. Nice, very, very nice. All right, now I'll slap on two extra, he's gonna slap on two extra, add in another one. He could gust out Silvalli, which is L that I can take, I suppose. Definitely use Viridian Forest. Get rid of Quick Ball. Get for oh, never mind. We're done. Right, sweet. Let's do one more. Because these, these matches are going pretty quickly. Right, so Lightning. Okay. This is where the weakness energy comes into play. Alright, so definitely go first again. Yeah, ideally you'd want to go first in this deck. Oh, Palkia yeah, is not exactly the card I wanted to start off with. But on the plus side, I mean, we get communications. So we can get Snom. Yeah. That can work. Yeah, this can work. It just depends what lightning deck this is. This could be Peak Rom. This could be Raichu. Oh, it, could be, it could be more Pico, but then more Pico should have normal type. No. No, it wouldn't. More Pico can go by its own. It can, it can also be more Pico. Right, you. Okay. Um, right. Quick ball. I'm gonna say quick ball for Lapras. Lapras? Because I've got. You can do communications for Snom. Or should we get? No, better idea. We'll be safer. That's that, that's the safer option, in my opinion. Right. Um. Yeah, then Brilliant Forest, get rid of a Frost Moth, Water Energy, and put it onto Palkia. Yes. Right, that's the only problem. Only thing I'm thinking about is that we haven't got Snom or Wooper. That way, if we do get good cards next turn, we're a bit stuck. Okay, it's Choo Choo. And what's with the Pikachu then? Is this that is this that clutch Raichu where it's like if you have three prize cards remaining you could do something crazy? I know that there's a Raichu I think it was Cosmic Eclipse that came out, I think. Alright, big charms and it's not 290. Okay. We have to think now. 
and Tapu Koko. Okay, right. Right, there's energy retrieval, which is great. Um, Frostmoth, come back. So Valley, go up. Right, we need to keep those weakness energy though. Getting rid of that weakness energy cannot cannot fly whatsoever. Right, energy retrieval, thank you. Right, slap that onto Palkia. Shuffle again. Right, great catcher. I could do great catcher to shut down that that choo choo. Let's see. Ah, uh, no, but I've used my energy for the turn. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. Then Lapras. Keep it for now. I know it's a risk, but we'll keep it for now. Let's see what happens. It's a big risk. Because he might do custom catcher. Or Pokemon catcher. But we'll see how this plays out. Um if he does does 160. Electro power will be 190. That'll be a one hit on Palkia. Right, okay. Which means next turn. He needs to go. Right, so. Oh, only problem is if I do. See, this is the only problem. Alright, so Wooper up front. Weakness Guard has to go on Palkia if I want to. If I want to bring it out. If I want to bring it out, I need to. Uh, I need to do it. That's fine. I've got two more. So, Valley, get us some more draw, please. Alright, communications. There's Catcher. Right, I'm, getting, I'm doing Juniper anyway. I'm, I keep saying Juniper, Magnolia. The professor's research, should I say. Alright, Cynthia's energy retrievals. There's Quagsire's. Another Wooper. Right, okay. And then. Just, just cause mayhem now. Just casually do it now. So next turn, 190. I need to hit him 190. Which can't be done. Not unless I get luck lucky and get V Max. Even then, that's that's really tricky. There's another weakness card. I need Snom. That's just the problem. I just need Snom. If I get Snom, then that's so much better. Okay, that's not exactly what I was hoping for, but we can make we can try and make it work. I mean we got Sil Valley anyway, so. Paid off. Pokemon Catcher, it's nice. Only problem is I don't really need to shuffle anybody out. So we could just do research again. Um, yeah, we could just do research again. Right, Pokemon Catcher. Who's coming out? Who's coming out? Heads. For Lapras. Yep, Lapras. Right, okay. I mean, you could have GX'd it, but you know what? It's fine. I'm not even going to say anything about it. I'm not even going to mention it. Right, so... Water energy. Um, Professor's research. Just get rid of all of them. Let's see what we can get. Um, there's Frostmoth. There's Quick Ball. Quagsire. Yes. Um, Quick Ball. Freedom Forest. Get, where's Snob? Snob. Yes, we've got one more Frostmoth. Oh, we've got two Frostmoth. Um, then whatever card we get next from Sil Valley, we can easily just... Weakness guard. Okay, can't get rid of that one. Right. It's gonna have to be Cynthia. Right. Actually, we can technically hit him. No, we can't. No, we can't. It's, extra, it's any energy that we need. Yeah, no, we can't. Right. And then swap someone. Palkia. It has to be. Kinda has to be. Right, he can one shot. He can one shot the the Palkia now with his GX attack. If I use my Great Catcher, I have got rid of it and two Pokemon catches. No, he retreats. Okay, could still go for broke and get the and get the Pokemon catcher. Could still go for broke and, and hit, try and hit it. 
Right, there's a switch. That's fine. Don't need it though. Right, weakness guard. Cynthia. There's a lot of water energy. Air balloon would be useful. Ditto would be, yeah, I guess useful. Lapras. Um, Frostmoth. Put that onto. I'm going to say Quagsire just for now. Actually, you know what? I know what I can do. I know what I can do. So, Valley, get me more draw. Um, v Max, that works well. And then Quagsire, bring some energy up to Palkia, please. Yep, done. And what we're going to do is we're vanish. Just to get some extra, just to get a little bit of time going. Perfect. Right, great. That's fine. Don't take a prize for it, but that's fine. So 200, how much do I need to hit? A lot. So two, so 60, and he's got four water energy. So 80, 100, 120, I'm at 140 right now. Before doing damage to Scarlet, all Pokemon tool cards that you're from points of Pokemon to see Okay. And paralyzed. Okay, that's even better to be honest. Right, swap back over. Um no one else I really need to attach weakness for. I'm not gonna do Juniper. I mean I keep saying Juniper, I need to stop. I really need to stop saying Juniper. Um No, you know what? I'm I'm good. I think I'm alright. Right, now let's start hitting everyone and get these prizes. Took like almost all of my deck, but let, let's start getting prizes. Right, I need to attach two more energy, which is can easily be done. Right, then... Right, so that gets me to 180, that gets me to, to 210, 210, 210, right, that's my two, fire memory and water energy, now I can Cynthia and keep the same amount of cards, if I get lucky and get Pokemon Catcher, I think that's in the prizes though, right, so that's Lucky Egg, I'm guessing he's gonna retreat to Galvantula, He's going for like paralysis. Paralysis type deck. I've got a switch anyway, so I can get anyone out. Okay, that's fine. Right, let's quick so um so yeah, just just pop it. Yep, that's fine. Right, draw 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 draw. Shuffle shuffle shuffle. Anything else? Lady? No. Sally again, no. Um I mean, we can pop a switch if we really want to, but nah, we go, we're all right. Keep that, keep the switch. We'll keep the switch because if if Galvantula does paralyze us, we'd rather get this, get this done quick. Is that V again? That I think that GX attack worked really, really well. That GX attack worked a bit too well because he was about to get energy and really hit us hard. Weakness energy pulled off really well as well. So I'm happy, but I'm happy that we put in weakness energy. That was a good call. All right, so how much damage, how much does he have? 100, he's got 100 HP, right? With the lucky egg. All I gotta do is swap to Palkia and that's it. Cause that's extra two, yeah. Is that heads? That is heads, it's fine. We've got switch, we can counter. We can counter, that's fine. All right, just attach for the sake of attaching, just to make sure. Yep, 120, that's fine. And uh, whoever he brings up last, it's our win. That is our win. Okay. Ooh, Pinturian. I actually did like Pinturian. It's just coin flips. I have this big thing about coin flips. Coin flips are so annoying to me. There we go. Right, that's the game. Right, I think announcement time. Let's let's do this. Okay, so Lapras V and V Max. I really really like it. Um, I, there's not really much else I can say. I really really like it. 
Um, Lapras V is good because for energy it does higher damage. It does higher damage than Lapras V Max with the required energy. Lapras V Max literally you can go beyond the the limit and do higher damage. But Lapras V, in, if you're looking at it in terms of base, Lapras V does do more, but it's just less less HP. That's why I kept both Lapras V Maxes for both Lapras V, just in case we do hit a deck that can hit us beyond 210. Things like Reshazard or. Uh, double weakness from things like Picarom. It works well to put in Lapras V Max, and that way we can at least tank one blow to get us ready. The fusion of Frostmoth, Frostmoth and Quagsire to me is fantastic. Um, it used to be Naganado Quagsire before Frostmoth came out. Um, that would be for every deck pretty much if it whatever used water. Um, and majority for water deck as well. There would be uh, Naganado to get energy back from discard and Quagsire to slap it back up. Um, I like this new Frostmoth and Quagsire combination. I love it. I really, really like it. It's just the whole thing of like Frostmoth gets it all from your hand onto the bench and then Quagsire brings it all up to the active. And even as, because Frostmoth can even attach to itself. Like even if somehow you don't want to attach to Quagsire, you can still attach to Quagsire because it's still a water type. But Frostmoth can still attach to itself. So if you get Quagsire late game and they don't try and pick at the bench, Quagsire can literally come up later than Frostmoth, get it all from Frostmoth, slap it whoever's at the active. It can be Sil Valley, it can be Palka, it can be anyone. It doesn't even have to be a water type Pokemon. As long as it's water type energy, you can slap it to anyone that's on the active. This, it's, I love this combination. Ditto is useful. I like Ditto. Sil Valley, again, great. A nice little cheeky bit of damage with one with 120. Plus draw up to five cards. It helped came in clutch very, very well. Palkia, again, like I said at the beginning, you can add Palkia, you can add Keldeo, um, both roughly have the same HP, I think Palkia has, I think, 10 more, I think, um, Palkia, I think, hits harder, yeah, because for 3 energy, it does 2, 4, 6, 120, it hits harder by 10 as well, but of course, that can stack, it's GX attack, in my opinion, is, is better, it's more consistent, because if you have a Keldeo and you need to hit hard, and 110 isn't going to do enough, and they have two Pokemon, and they have like one or two Pokemon on the bench. You you can't really do anything. Palkia can hit 150 and shuffle every energy back into the bench, which is good. Its first attack, try and stay away from because its first attack is literally Quagsire's ability. Move any number of energy from your bench Pokemon to this Pokemon. That's it. Like it's that's that's pretty much the limit of what you can do with that. Um, so keep try not to do his his first attack because it just it's just gonna mess you up. It just wait for Quagsire in my opinion. Um, but yeah, his his main attack and his GX attack are fantastic. I can't I, I can't complain. It's great. I would say if you if you're more worried about bumping into GXs, then I would definitely say add in Keldeo. Um, because by the time rotation comes out, Palkia is going to be gone by then, which means GX is going to be seen less. Which means Keldeo is the only one going to be left standing because of course Palkia is from uh, Forbidden Light and that's probably going to be one of the ones that rotate so it's like a double edged sword. So you can you, you can put in Palkia, you can put in Keldeo, it's, it's your preference, it's down to your preference. We thought Palkia just because why not. Um, all the cards worked really really well. It, it was a shame that we didn't get to see Fire Memory get put into place because again if we did get a, a grass deck that could get a one shot on things like Quagsire, um, forget a, uh, like a uh, steel type deck like Zacian or Lucario Melmetal again just Silvalli can just come up there and just whack them just whack them one shot be done with it quickly retreat back it's great uh, the whole point of having one fire memory is fantastic Viridian Forest again I can't complain um, it works well for Lapras's, Lapras V's first attack attach energy from your hand to it and then swap over because I think you can't swap it you can't swap Lapras out unless you have an energy to attach which makes it great for Viridian Forest you can literally just put it in your hand, don't even have to attach it, and then just pop it anyway. That way you get a free retreat, you get energy attachment, and you don't have to risk losing two rises for it. Um, communications, again, works fine. Pokemon catches work fine. I'm not the biggest fan of coin flips myself, but in terms of saving space, this would probably work better. Because you instead of doing custom catcher where you've got one chance to do it with three cards, you've got Pokemon catcher where it's a 33% chance. So you've got one in three chances, it's fine. Uh, switch again, I can't complain, works fine. Air Bloom works fine. Fresh's Research, such an aggressive way to get cards, but it works off very, very well, as long as you don't have cards that you really need in your hand. Uh, weakness Energy, I can't complain, that worked great. Uh, in that last deck that we had, we would have lost Lapras V Max if we didn't attach that. Um, and also, you can attach the Weakness Energy and do Frost Moth after that, so I can't really complain. But I think other than that, that's about it. Um, also, Lady to get the 4 energy for Frostmoth and Quagsire combo. Again, these two work so good together. 
But yeah, that's, that's kind of it for my opinion anyway. What do you guys think? If you guys think I should um, add anything, please let me know. If you guys think I should take anything away, again, please let me know. If you have any idea on what deck I should try out, um, let me know in the comments. I'm more than happy to try it out the best that I can. And as always, if you guys enjoyed, always click like and always click on the video. You guys are always welcome back and I will see all of you in the next video. Right, guys, take care and I will see you all later. Okay, bye.